I was watching a post from End Times Headline News and the title was If Kamala Harris Wins the Election and I will link the link in the description box below. First of all, I got lightheaded just at the thought of that being the reality because he went on to say some things in this being a review of his commentary. First of all, his voice went right through me because of how he described it. I would say that the idea of this happening could be very much a reality because of previous elections, but that being said, um, he went on to say about how the re abortion would be uh, the actual decision on Roe v. Wade would be overturned and a federal law would be instituted and it would be quite a controversy as it would be mandated by coverage, full coverage by corporations. No religious exemptions would be tolerated. It went on to say some other things also in this report. So you might want to watch this report. Again, I couldn't bear to listen to the whole thing. So um, if you have a stomach and you want to listen to that report, it will be linked in the description box below. I wanted to share what I got for my birthday. My birthday's November 29th. My sister bought me a gift though, and I want to show you. It says Psalms, and on the back it has really beautiful art. I, maybe I should turn around. Or it's a beautiful you can't see what it has but it has wings <laughs> and I, I got it today in the mail and I just was I just loved it so much. I also got another t-shirt that she gave me too and I'm not even 54 yet but I thought I had to wear it today to just record that's the only good thing I have to report on as far as like some of the news but there was something on my mind about the wheat and tares I think that it's evident to me that the wheat and tares while they grew together, they, there has been a sifting. According to the report from Pastor Jamie Walden, if you've listened to J Pastor Jamie Walden, he has a sermon on the sifting. And I believe that has been a reality. I think there has been a separation because we're watching it happen before our eyes. And if you are in the word let's research this topic a little bit more in the this this is a, like a, an assignment i like to do assignments on the field report about topics like this so this will be our weekend assignment it's going to be basically the sifting of the wheat from the tares because i think that has to happen in order for us to understand why the wheat is going to be sipped from the tears as we're in the harvest season as it ends literally today at the end of tabernacles and the eighth day of tabernacles is when Jesus tabernacles with his people and being as it's the end of tabernacles a lot of people were stating that this would be the day of the Lord um, I, I would have liked to have known what that outcome would have been like, but it doesn't seem like anything will come of it, but that's okay. We don't look at feast days as a specific determination of the soon return of Jesus Christ. What we do look for is the signs. We look for a moments and also specific prophecies to be fulfilled. 
in order to see the day is fast approaching. We know we're in the season. We also know the time is approaching quickly. So we know we're in the time frame. With that said, the report that I have also is that as predicted, the solar storm that was we were talking about a couple of days ago has now been reported by suspicious observers and this was re released just a couple hours ago. It was X3 geomagnetic storm and it will be visible the, the northern lights will be visible as of today, tonight um, in states like Idaho, Utah, Wyoming, Nebraska, and states pretty much up north, including New York. But this solar storm that occurred, I don't know if it's a result of the comet or if it's something, just a, a solar storm itself. But if you want to check it out, Suspicious Observers is the one that reported this. But we do predict that this would happen as a result of the comet. I don't know if that's exactly what happened, but that is the report as of now. Thanks for listening to the field report. Thanks and God bless. Have a good night.